Greetings. We're back again, or I'm back again, Dadon. Today we're going to be talking about another key to health, and summer is coming up. It's right around the corner. It's May fourth today, and summer, you know, the summer solstice is coming up in June. So we're going to be experiencing the heat, the cookouts, the parties, the water fights. Um, Lots of fun, and we want to be sure that we're eating healthy during that time. So today I have a key to health, or a jewel, or a tip, and it's the watermelon, the classic uh, food at the cookouts. Um, this one happens to be from Mexico. It's organic, not from Whole Foods, but want to talk about the benefits of eating watermelon. A lot of our a lot of people consume watermelon, like I said, during the summer times to quench our thirst, hydrate us, get, you know, something sweet in, something uh, something that will quench our thirst, but something that's also very sweet and good for us. We know it's good for us, but how good is it? And what specifically is so great about it? So I want to talk about that today. So just to start off, watermelon is actually from Africa. Who knew? I wonder where all these, no. <laughs> they say it's, uh, you know, the food of the black man or, you know, the African American race, or, you know, the stereotype, but it comes from Africa. So there is a connection there, but it originated from Africa and it was it was known for a lot of a lot of kings would 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 consume the watermelon because it's such a nutrient rich great food and it can actually be seen on the walls of ancient Egypt um, and a lot of like I said the kings and the pharaohs and the, the chiefs the high ups would would roll with the watermelon because of its, of its healthy properties and because it's uh, so delicious. So, one thing, the first thing I want to talk about is the different kinds. There's the huge 50 pound or 10, 15, 25, 40, 30 pound watermelon. Then there's the little round handheld watermelon. It's probably like 5 to 10 pounds. This one feels like it's about like 6 pounds or something. It's light, but... Um, there's the different varieties. Then you have like seedless, you have um, organic, conventional. Conventional means that the farmer can use pesticides or herbicides or different chemicals on the, the plant while it's growing. But organic, it's not genetically modified. It's not, uh, it doesn't have any you know, herbicides or chemical herbicides or pesticides added to it. It's only natural herbicides or pesticides. So um, there's also, like I said, seedless and uh, seeded watermelons. The difference is that the seeded watermelons are the more natural watermelons because the seedless watermelons are actually hybrids. They were created by, um, you know, hybridization, which is just the combination of certain good genes from certain foods with another gene, but it's used by splicing uh, like branches or splicing parts of the plant. It's not genetic genetic modification. It's just um, modification of the physical plant and the different varieties, combining this variety with that variety. But most people see the watermelon and they only know about the pink watermelon or the reddish watermelon, but there's watermelon with yellow flesh, white flesh, and even orange flesh. So, and that's natural. It's natural watermelons that have those different uh, flavors or, or those different colors. It still tastes like normal watermelon or the actual skin, the rind will be different colors. So some people don't know that, but there's different colors, um, different shapes, sizes of watermelon, but they all have a good amount of nutrients and they're good for you. So to move into the nutrients, what are some good nutrients? Well, watermelons are full of 
vitamin C, vitamin A, magnesium, and potassium. Magnesium and potassium, people always talk about, got to get my vitamins, got to get my supplements, got to get this in. But what about the minerals? Minerals are extremely important. So the magnesium and potassium work to help to keep, keep the blood pressure low. Now, when I tell you the benefits, the health benefits of these, this food, this great food here, it's not to, say, go out and buy a thousand of these and eat, you know, all of them in one sitting in order to lower your blood pressure or help with this element or help with that. It just has added benefits on the side. So when you're eating, you know, okay, this is helping doing this, or okay, this is helping doing that, but it's not it's meant to do, you know, for you to go out and do something extreme. But helps lower the blood pressure. Then you have the vitamin C, of course helps with the immune system. And then, like I said, the vitamin A, it's good for the body, the immune system, and the eyes. And then there's something called lycopene, Lycopene is what gives watermelon, the flesh of watermelon, that, that pink, reddish color. Lycopene is an antioxidant. People always hear antioxidant blueberries have antioxidant. Black rice has antioxidants. Cacao has antioxidants. Goji berry has antioxidants. What is an antioxidant? Well, it's something that comes from primarily plant foods, almost solely plant foods, and it prevents cell damage. So um, there's something called a, a free radical, and a free radical, I don't want to get super technical and scientific, but it comes from oxidation, it's a result of oxidation. And when you have anti, that means something against something. So antioxidation or antioxidant is what lycopene is, and it prevents the cell damage or cell death even uh, within the body. So it keeps the body healthy, prevents, um, you know, I don't want to say anti-cancer properties, but... It has antioxidant properties, meaning it keeps the cells healthy, keeps the cells, uh, prevents the cell from having that damage. So it's something good for the body. And tomatoes are known for having lycopene, but watermelon actually kicks, I mean, comes with a bigger punch of, of lycopene than uh, tomatoes. So one cup of watermelon has more antioxidants, more lycopene than one cup of tomatoes. So this summer, when you're eating that watermelon, make sure you give your youth... Make sure you give your husband, make sure you give your mother, everybody, some of that watermelon. In addition to all that, that the barbecue and every everything else you're eating that doesn't have those health properties, give give them some of this. Another thing, like I said, the lycopene, um, there's studies showing that the lycopene um, is good for preventing cardiovascular disease and it's heart healthy. So the study is showing that women with more lycopene in their body actually have a lower risk for getting cardiovascular disease, getting, getting heart disease, like heart, uh, stroke, or not, not stroke, but cardi uh, atherosclerosis and arteriosclerosis. And uh, I say a stroke because it does help with uh, stroke prevention too. So this is just like a powerhouse full of all kind of uh, nutrients, benefits, um, and it really will help the body out. So this summer, like I said, when you're going out, you go into the 99 cent store, you go into the corner market, grab you some watermelon. It's fresh, refreshing. It's 92% water. So people are always talking about alkaline water. Go and get you some alkaline water from your watermelon because it's 92% water, 92% alkaline water. Um, try and get the seedless or the seeded varieties and get you some organic too because, you know, it's less chemicals and things like that. Now, in terms of picking it, uh, you want to get... Um, a watermelon that has this yellow like patch if you can it's from it sitting on the ground and if it's like green or white it means that it's um it, it's been pricked prematurely and it's not gonna be right so you're looking for like a, a dull thud and you're looking for um you're looking for a, a yellow um a yellow patch and a lot of the seedless watermelons don't actually come with the yellow patch. So you'll have to go by the thud that, that it makes. But the seeded watermelon should have that. And, um, you know, that's how you know it's ripe. And if you store them correctly in the refrigerator, it'll last up to about like a week. And um, there's different things you can do, like slice them up, put it in a blender, put a, like some lime juice in there. Makes a delicious little smoothie kind of thing. Um, you could... Blend it up, put a little bit of mint in there. It's delicious. 
but um, you want to help with your blood pressure, help with your heart, help with your energy, get a lot of nutrients for only um, about 40 calories per serving, then, you know, you want to check out some watermelon. Go and get you some. So it's Theodon, soon to be dietitian, bringing you another key to health, another message of health. Eat your watermelon this summer. Get a lot of it. Make sure it's organic. Make sure it's ripe. It has your patch. Gives you a thud. Get your lycopene, antioxidant, prevents cell damage, helps with the heart, and stay healthy. All right. Peace and love.